Hi everybody, this is John of JWH Millinery and welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and if you're already subscribed to this channel, hit that notification bell to be notified every time we release videos in future. So it's 2019, it's been 2019 for like three months now and this is the first video I put out so I just want to say thank you very much for sticking with me. Um, Things have been a little bit rough recently, um, obviously with the passing of my father. Um, yeah, it was just, it just, uh, I've not had time to focus on on YouTube, but I'm back and I'm back with a vengeance. We, I actually have this video out today. I've got another video out tomorrow, so keep tuned for that. And yeah, I just want to also say thank you to everybody <clears throat> that sent me messages of support. And in fact, I just want to do a shout out for Hazel who sent me this beautiful mug. Um, she, yeah, I, thank you very much, Hazel. Like it was just love, you know. It was just it was just nice to, uh, yeah. Just, I, I needed I needed to hear something from someone, and I, it was just nice to hear from you at that time. So thank you very much. I've been using the hell out of this. Um, I, I, pretty much every day, as as everybody knows on this channel. I am a coffee fiend. I drink way too much coffee. Um, so thank you very much. <clears throat> mm. Nice. And in fact, it tastes even better because I've just descaled my coffee machine. So it tasted really nice. But we're not here to talk about coffee. We're not here to talk about meat. We're actually talk here to talk about hats. And in this video, we are going to be making this beautiful, slightly Dior-esque, piece uh, made with two different straws so we've got the pink and white we've got the blue here we've got a little bit of feather work um oh there we go feather work so some pre-made pieces we've just slightly doctored them um you, these are actually made with bite palms we've just tied them off so if you uh, want to see how we actually made this step by step keep on watching So as you can see here, I have uh, two straw cape lines now. Um, I don't have the actual things to hand, but um, there will be something on the screen right now explaining what these are. Um, I think this is wheat sheaf though. Uh, and this is a, a visca, I could be wrong. Um, but what I actually did was, I've already, cut this so this is going to be the the uh, crown um i blocked using the this block which is the presser for a um saucer block so i actually blocked this first um and then as you can see here I've wired and just turned it in, so that's nice and um, I mean it's, you know, a bit used a little bit stiffener. So that was the crown, and then with the base uh, or with the brim, even I did something very similar to this with the blue. However, the blue one was a lot wider. So I actually pinned it down onto this block and flipped it over the edges. As you can see, it has a little bit of a curve. I don't know if you can see that on here. Um, just on the edges of the, of the brim. And then just basically with this, because this didn't need any stiffener, um, it's got a little bit of tautness in it already. So it didn't need any stiffener. The, pink and white did need a little bit of stiffener and just use regular vinyl stiffener, um, like a PVA based stiffener and steamed it into place. And the beauty is the thing with your, with your remnants, because we're using these in our tutorial today, um, but with your remnants, you can actually make yourself a second one. So we're going to be putting this aside. This block actually isn't a block. It is a um, Lazy Susan from Ikea. Apologies for the motorcycle that I've just gone past my window. So I'm just going to put that to one side. So 
So we're now left with the uh, brim and your crown. Um, that is going to, if you want to see a tutorial on blocking, I have plenty of blocking tutorials. Um, I've blocked in a lot of my videos, so I'm deciding not to do it in this one. Um, and actually I can block correct, like properly without actually trying to get it all on camera. Um, and what, we, what we're going to be doing is sewing the crown to the base. I have a dead thread. Um, now, because we're using two different colors, I would tend to use a lighter one because you're going to see the outside. We're not going to be putting any ribbon on the outside. So um, we're just gonna sew all the way around here with some uh, small stitches, hiding them on the outside. On the inside, you can have them a little bit visible. I mean, you've got no choice because of the color of the thread. You're going to see the stitches a little bit. Actually, seeing that, the th it's. I don't know if you can see that. Is it? Nope. I can't see it on camera, but uh, but yeah. And then what we're going to do. So once that's all sewn in, we're going to take some grugging ribbon, um, and we're just going to just insert that in all around the inner, just to finish off the inside. And that, there's your hat all pretty much together. Um, so once you've got done this, we're going to work on the trim. So what I would suggest we do is get this sewn and I'll be back with you in a second. Okay, so now we're going to work on the trims so um, we have these Bayat Poms from Peter Shum's Millinery and we also have some Bayat Feathers as well and what we're going to do is we're going to make this sort of custom feathery flower trim and it's very easy very simple um, First of all, start by just winding up this excess because what this will help you do later is sew, sew that down. You want some, what's this, high tack glue. And first of all, start with, start at, at any point, add a bit of glue and you want the bottom of the feather so that's cl that's clearly the bottom sorry for that beeping and hold that into place while that just tacks a little bit and what we're going to do is um ooh, we're going to curl them over so once it's once it's um dry going to glue that into place further round which gives this nice sort of looping feather and it uses it utilizes that niceness of the bite feathers so you're going to do that three times and i am going to crack on with them now we 
Right, next we have our trims ready over here. They are just drying. So while they're drying, we need to figure out the placement. So I know, oh, there's a stray thread. I know that they're going to sit here. Uh, so this is my front and they're going to sit here. Um, obviously this camera is the other way around. So this would be the um, right hand side. So we have some of these left. So we're gonna have this decoration here. What then we should do is, there's a pin in there. So because this is an, a very open weave, taking the bottom of the bio, we're gonna thread that through. And kind of get it equal and we're going to tie that off. Not too tight because you don't want to, um, you don't want to break the feather. So tie that a couple of times. Until you can get no more. Maybe one more. That wasn't threaded equally. One more. And just cut off any, any remaining. They're not going to be equal. Hello. But it just adds, it just adds something a little bit different. So once again, this is, this is the front. So we're not gonna put anything here because we're gonna have them there. So turn around, uh, so I've got one, two, three, four, and a curly one there. Yeah, so that's pretty much my placement. So uh, once again, starting from the bottom, we are going to around just around here. So let's th thread them in first. So we know our placements are pr fine. Ugh. Why will this not come through? Ah, there we go. So by the time this video goes up, it will be nearly, or it will probably be Hat Week. Um, is, are any of you going to Hat Week? Are you coming to London? Um, let me know in the comments below. I'm very excited. I am not taking any classes. And the reason why I'm not taking any classes is for the simple reason I teach Teach is probably a loose word, but I, I show people how to make hats on YouTube. And I don't want any of anybody else to kind of, I don't want to be influenced by anybody else from their teaching style. Um, I think that's, you know, very disrespectful to the teacher by, you know, maybe learning something and I'm like, oh, my subscribers would love that. Um, I just don't think it's fair on the people that, that, that would teach the class. So that's the only reason why I'm not doing any classes. Um, it's a bit of a shame really, because I would love to do a class or two, um, but you know. But yes, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Are, are you coming to London for Hat Week? Um, you know, uh, what events are you going to? I will be going to um, the launch party, the, um, what else? The launch party, the opening of the exhibition, the World Garden exhibition, which I will link that uh, in the description below if you are not aware of that one there's over 200 milliners um, that will be showing hats based on like with a floral theme 
what else am I going to? There's the there's a ha there's a tea party like a with a talk from um, somebody, and what else? What else am I going to? Oh, and the Happen Horror. It's like some late night um, or early evening interactive storytelling, um, which I'm very excited. I do like uh, things like that, so I'm going to that and. And the hat walk yes so if you're in any of those events please do let me know uh, come and say hi um it's l lovely to get to know you all um and if you're not coming to london hat week then uh, i will try and do my best to record as much as i can um so you can actually see it um yeah so i am gonna just nearly finish this <sighs> Um, oh, hello. I actually wasn't planning on doing this bit, um, but inspiration spot, um, popped up and I was like, ooh. So I haven't actually practiced this bit. Um, I hadn't built it into my timings. So. <sighs> right, so we're nearly there. <gasps> oh, what happened there? I'm not sure. Ah, I pulled it too tight and it broke the weave. What can we do with this instead? Ah, that looks better. Um, how do I? And the last one. One more. And we're going to now add these to this side of the brim and we're nearly done. Right, so then finally what we want to do is, so we're going to attach these trims to the hat. Now as you can see I have I put two in already um, and I all I've done is with this thing at the back, let me just do it so you can see, this thing here, I've just curled it round so then a, I've got something to sew into, and B, it doesn't stick out. So um, I've put two in already. Oh dear, what's happened here? So that one obviously wasn't glued in hard enough, so we need to put that in. But what we'll do is slot this in. In fact, we'll do it that way. So we'll slot that in and let me just where is that gone i'm just going to sew that into place i 
and just making sure we catch that metal work. Now the only problem with doing this is you can never find the bloody needles. Oh there it is. Um apologies for for the break there because I was just on the phone to my mother. Um So yeah, I whilst I'm sewing this down, or while I'm sewing this down, I just also want to take this opportunity to say thank you to everybody who has um, messaged me with messages of support um, over the last few months. I, uh, for those who don't know, re uh, Christmas. I, I lost my father or my stepdad. Um, he was an amazing guy. He it was sadly lost to cancer. We didn't know he had it. Um, he just all of a sudden got extremely unwell, um, and for weeks um, nobody nobody knew. Um, they thought it was many other different things um, and sadly on the 30th of December he decided he passed away so the last few months have been hard work to say the least emotionally um, you know trying to I'm the I'm like pretty much the eldest um, of of all the children, and you know it kind of it kind of fell upon me to assist m my mum with with things um, post you know post burial, um, and yeah, it's just been a little bit draining on my time, which means I haven't really had time to produce content so for that I do apologize um, I am just going to just secure that there for now um, yeah so for that I do apologize I I am in a, in a good place now um, obviously it's, it's always going to be a sad thing but we have to move on um, so yes so to everybody thank you um, for those of you who got to this far in the video, thank you for watching. Um, so yeah, so we've sewn that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, knock this off and we will go to a little video of my beautiful mannequin wearing this piece. So there you go, first video of 2019 done, dusted, you know, I'm feeling a lot more energised, I'm back into <coughs> editing, I'm back into uh, actually how to talk to myself in a room with nobody else, like, apart from, um, I sent my boyfriend out so I can actually do this because, yeah, that's just how I work. Thank you very much for watching, thank you very much for getting this far. If you haven't already, make sure you follow me on all my social media listed in the description box below. As always, the, and I said ingredients then, um, the materials will be listed also in the description box below with a link to be able to buy should you wish to purchase. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow when I have a bit of a, something different. I've never done this before. I want to see how it works. So, you know, keep watching for that and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.